Hello friends, my name is Nasser and uh, today I am sharing with you a very interesting case study of HP 15 which part number is LAC701P and uh, I am making this video only to introduce the, the very common problem which I have been constantly getting uh, message from uh, my friends that uh, they have got this uh, motherboard and uh, the scenario of this uh, particular model is like that I just plug in power and uh, you see that there is a light is uh, light is started on the DC jack it means uh, adapter has been sensed and uh, see the milliampere and uh, just pay attention when I make it on as soon as I make it on see it takes load of uh, 0 0.62 milliampere and uh, again goes down and uh, since uh, there is a 3.3 and 5 volt you will get suspend voltage on you will get suspend voltage on 3.3 and 5 volt so after making it on what is happening that 3.3 uh, volt and 5 volt is generating again goes off you can see here but uh, most of the guys who uh, who was asking and I was telling them that uh, I haven't received this types of problem as of now uh, so today I received this problem and that's why I thought to make a video as of now I haven't repaired it and uh, directly I'm trying to repair it as long as I have diagnosed this motherboard it seems that uh, there is a problem in the 3.3 and 5 volt regulator and uh, you may not have pay attention that uh, you might have thought at the time when you have received this motherboard you can think that okay laptop is getting on so there, there may not be 3.3 and 5 volt regulator issue so that is why you have skipped that uh, that step when I received this motherboard IO controller IO was changed you can see the BIOS was also too much heat is uh, you can see marking of the heat and uh, lots of thing has been done in this motherboard too much R&D has been done what I am going to show you now uh, on the both things you I will show you on the CRO and on the multimeter that uh, if you receive how you can determine that's what is the problem let's see I am checking 3.3 volt when it is on I have set the division of 2 volt and you can see 2 and, and 3 3.3 volt around uh, you was getting on the after this coil on I am checking on the capacitor 3.3 volt capacitor and now let's come and check 5 volt it's on and uh, the 5 volt you can see instead of 5 volt it is merely 4 volt you, as you can calculate the 2 volt division and when it drops as soon as it drops you can see that it is not going on to the zero and uh, it is a stop at 2 voltage so that uh, exactly not the matter of concern but it uh, it is not going to the 5 volt that is the exactly matter of concern that it is not reaching to the uh, threshold level because uh, it will not work if it is less than uh, 4.5 volt and it must be above 4.5 volt so I think uh, I should break this capacitor like this so I just break this capacitor and uh, again I will try to find out whether the capacitor is leaky or not because uh, there is a symptom that uh, I thought that again the same condition and it, let's check it is not going up so
so it must be 5 volt and as you can see on the multimeter as well let me make it on you can see the impression it is going 0 0.6 the 4 volt you are getting 4.3 volt you are getting and uh, it is not enough so I think uh, after replacing the 8A the IC name is 8A I'll have to trace out that uh, what exactly is that or there might be some auxiliary component component issue so after you can see that the 5 volt again I'm checking then it sometime it is going down and up and here after dropping look see here 3.3 is not uh, present now after getting off 3.3 volt is not present now but see the 2.2 volt is on the uh, on the 5 volt capacitor and uh, hope that uh, after replacing the 3.3 and 5 volt regulator I will get uh, this motherboard repair so let's come and change the IC so friends I have changed this IC and you can see here it is right here so it is 8A so RTIC and uh, now I just plug in and you see the light is uh, light is on the DC jack is sensed and uh, ampere is I mean that uh, the volt the IC is okay it seems now let me make it on see it is on now and uh, the main concern was let me put some heatsink I don't have heatsink so let's place here some heatsink because fourth generation and fifth generation processor is very sensitive so once let's check with the multimeter that what exactly voltage as you were getting 4 volt or 3.8 volt sometime but it was getting on because uh, in order to get it on it is required only IO voltage now see I am checking on the coil or capacitor because there is a no place as I, I have fixed 330 capacitor here now you can see 5 volt exactly 5.05 uh, volt is present here and uh, it is completely on and 3.3 uh, volt is also present it was earlier it was also present and uh, RAM voltage 0 0.35 volt and uh, might be display would have come I'll have to check it with RAM and uh, one wo one thing was very interesting in that uh, the voltage was not dropping when it was getting off the suspend voltage was not dropping and uh, hardly I get get to see such kinds of uh, problem so this is that is why this is very unique problem maybe so this is very unique case that's why I made the video of solution so that you just don't get confused that there might be you can think look I place the RAM and you can see the fluctuation seems that display has come what is the exact problem with this uh, model that you do not have a schematic of HP 15 so that is why people are confused that uh, they quickly jump into the conclusion and they just uh, say that processor is faulty and uh, however the processor is uh, not faulty in this motherboard uh, you have to reach to the root cause of the problem so that uh, it will save your money and as well as it will save your energy so I hope that I hope that uh, this video is good reference for your uh, knowledge and uh, try to follow the same thing uh, you must check this point if uh, you get the same uh, motherboard LAC 701P or D70 there are so many variety of motherboard in the same model so never jump 
the 3.3 and 5 volt regulator whether it is getting on or not you just don't care about that you just check whether the 3.3 and 5 volt is okay or not or all the time uh, processor is not faulty your diagnosis could be faulty so that is why uh, reconfirm after checking it and uh, make sure that what is root cause of the problem so i hope that you have enjoyed and uh, you have learned lots of things uh, in this video so thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe my video for the more updates so guys this laptop is packed now and uh, let me make it on it's on and you can see the impression it's taking 690 milli ampere and display should come now and see the display has come I think it is written in Chinese because somebody has done BIOS I think I should enter it F2 and uh, I don't know how to read Chinese but uh, however time to time I go to China but I never try to learn it what is in it I think no it's different thing and uh, maybe this one yes uh, you can also remember uh, go I press the F2 for setup and uh, go in the BIOS setup and uh, press enter and the third one is giving you option to change language so here is the English I just press English and uh, F10 exit are you sure yes I'm sure again it is not happening I'll have to see that whether the BIOS is okay I think it should take from the exit yes so it is not going again I'll have to make it on in order to test it Uh, look in order to save anything in your bias your bias battery is needed to be okay so that it can save the bias so I think I'll have to reprogram the bias if I do not get solution from here it's still coming in I'm doing the same thing but not happening language exist yes not it's not happening hold on so I have just refreshed the BIOS and uh, also I clear its me region when I was trying to save the BIOS mm, from Chinese language to English language it was not being saved so that is why I thought to reprogram the BIOS uh, maybe there might be some problem because as I told you somebody has already replaced the controller IO and uh, BIOS was also done before so guys I hope this video would be very much helpful to you this is good for your reference because uh, this particular model has no schematic and uh, no board view so you have to diagnose it by yourself with your experience I hope that you have enjoyed and uh, you have learned something new so thank you for watching this video